NYU College of Dentistry is the leader in global outreach programs. We provide opportunities for students to go to various areas of the world to provide dental care. It's a cultural experience, it's a clinical experience, it's a service experience. It's a tremendous experience and adds great value to the dental college at NYU. All of the programs that we do, the outreach programs, combine two things. One is education. We are a university and we want our students educated, culturally sensitive, and the other is service. We go to primarily developing countries where they're very poor and very little health care is gotten. Health care is a luxury. We've been going to Chiclastagua, Nicaragua since 2006. The village is a village of 10,000 people who have no local dentist and no access to care. The village is located about 30 minutes outside of Managua, so it's very difficult for these individuals to get to the city where dentists are actually located. The program was started by a student who was in her second year, Aura Caldera. NYU is definitely unique in the sense where we offer an array of international outreach programs to so many parts of the world. Um, that I don't think is available in other dental schools. So that's something that really attracted me to the school. And because of my familial ties to Nicaragua, I always felt this reason to give back. Dental care in uh, Nicaragua in general is very, very limited. Um, it's like that in all developing countries. It's not that uh, Nicaragua is that unique. But you just move around, look at children, look at people smile, and you quickly see there's just a lack of care. And often what you find are people walking around with infections. That's normal for them. The people of the village are actually farmers who make minimum wage to feed their families. And it's cheaper to eat candy and drink soda than it is to get water and eat vegetables. In fact, the schoolyard in which we sat up at the school has a candy store right in front. And you'll see plenty of children go for lunch and just eat candy as opposed to a healthy meal. Our philosophy for going to these villages is not to come in and to impose our own uh, program, but it's to work with the infrastructure that is already currently present and to build on that to create a sustainable program. Our focus on most of our outreach activities is taking care of children in a sustainable manner, which means that you go in, you treat the children, you get them on preventive care, and then you teach people there how to administer preventive care when you're not going to be there. We went into the classrooms with um, the pediatric dentist and did a little oral hygiene instruction with the teachers and the children. And we also provided toothbrushes and toothpaste to the teachers to give to their students on an ongoing basis. Adults start to come in from the community, hearing about it through the children's parents or the parents come in. And before you know it, there are long lines waiting outside for care. They need care, they're aware they have problems. It's often emergency care, often fillings and extractions are the primary adult services. We tend to get to the site at around 8 a.m. and we work till f about 5 p.m. Um, and before we even get there, there's a line, probably about 100 people waiting for us and it, the line grows throughout the day. This year we actually partnered with a special needs school called Tesoros de Dios which happened to have about 80 children with special needs, anywhere from hydrocephalic to Down syndrome to autism. And the first two days of the program, we completed the care of all of the children and invited the parents to participate in this process and work with us to provide this care. We did teach the teachers how to apply fluoride varnish so that we can minimize the problems that are there. These children are different than other children because most do not have the ability to even brush their teeth. You need others to brush their teeth, which is very, very difficult and often not done. 
we tend to treat about 700 people during that period of time. And it affects everyone, everyone in that community dramatically. We become the dentist of the community. I think every individual should have access to care and I feel that this experience gives you a global perspective on what people go through with seeking this access to care. It's not available to everybody. It's something people struggle with, people suffer, you know, a lot of kids can't go to school because they have a toothache. There's a need for attention in this arena. Adults that have poor dental health will often find that they have infection. Infection can spread to the rest of the body. Nutrition is often an issue. People who have poor dental health often don't chew their food properly, often wind up taking a couple of chews and swallowing, which presents other digestive problems. You often see systemic diseases in the mouth. Systemic health and oral health are very closely related. It's extremely humbling. You take for granted the little things that we have, like running water, electricity, you know, access to dental care. The feeling is if we can completely treat the children's needs, train others in preventive care, we will prevent disease, which is a lot more effective than trying to surgically treat disease. The programs actually have provided a phenomenal opportunity for students to not only uh, provide a tremendous service to the individuals they treat, but also to gain a perspective on global public health and their role in providing dental care using the skills that they've learned at the college and implementing it in a real life experience. We go down there with very limited resources and we're still able to give so much. But I also felt that while I'm giving so much to this community, I'm also getting so much. It really does broaden your perspective. It humanizes you a little bit more. It makes you connect with a culture that possibly you didn't know anything about. And it connects you with other peers that have similar interests that you probably would otherwise maybe not have associated with, as well as your faculty. I had an amazing experience at NYU, but I don't think it would have been half as great if I had not been a part of this program. It's something that I hope every student gets to be a part of. It's something that you will remember forever. It's quite an astounding experience.